Hello, everybody. I've spent money on this Evolution Evo Saw 380, and out of the box there were problems. Numero uno, the crank wheel was broken. And to be honest, I was not surprised after I saw condition of the box. It was not shipped to me. It was tumbled all the way to my door. I got in contact with the Evolution and they sent me this replacement right away. Replacing the wheel was no brainer. Pin out. Washers out. The screw out. New screw in. Washers. Pin. Works. Attaching the crank handle. The blade was not on the tool, so I put it on. It is sharp. Wear gloves. One Allen key for all service bolts. To tighten the blade, this locking mechanism must be engaged. Let's check now if the blade is perpendicular to the base. I locked the saw into position using this chain. Without it, you must have three hands. Houston, we have a problem. The blade is not coming straight down. It will flex and cause vibrations when cutting. The square must not touch protruding teeth there. I turn the blade to see if the tilt is present at other positions. And it is. The motor shaft is not parallel with the base. The base is not one casting with the motor support. It can be detached undoing those four bolts and one small next to the chip catching opening. Here you have it separated. To remove this small bolt, I had to remove this plate that holds chip tray in place. I cut this shim to correct the tilt. The shim is long enough to distance two castings all along at this spot. It will touch the base here. Is anybody from Evolution watching this? Guys, it would be better to go gradually at a little slope to the red set line. When it is distanced like this, it is hard to align those two. No gaps with the shim in place. Sweet. It is minus 28 Celsius outside. My chickens stay in the garage today. I get rid of this handle bolt assembly. It is easier for me to use the Allen key on this bolt to set the fence. I also get rid of this handle on the crank wheel. With this mechanism there is not much cranking. 
and tighten the element one can use the wheel. This sticking out handle was catching my shirt. No more. Let's see the teeth. Brand new saw. When you read reviews some people swear by it, others complain that it doesn't last long. I think that adding the shim to straighten the blade will help to extend its life. The producer has this video on YouTube where they present cutting techniques to prolong blades life. It is worth to see it since those blades are not cheap. It seems that the blade works best using touch and go technique. Rather than scratch and go technique. What I understand is that it is best to shorten the blade material contact time, whenever it is possible. Working on my projects, I will document cuts I make and will report in my following video the condition of this blade after 10, 20 and so on cuts. Come back to my channel and see the results. Hey, what's going on? We agreed on three eggs per day. I am short one today. Where is my egg?